Hey friends, Scott Magoon here coming to you from my studio. This week, Mystery Ride by Scott Magoon. We'll read the book, learn how to draw a car, take a look at the drawings you've sent in, and more. Hey, we're home for a while. Let's read and draw and share together. So come along for the ride. It's Scott's Studio Storytime. This week's story is Mystery Ride by Scott Magoon. If your parents ever say, time for a mystery ride, don't fall for it. Mystery rides are not fun or cool or mysterious, really. Or are they? Let's learn about mystery rides. I'm sharing it with courtesy of Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Mystery Ride by Scott Magoon. Sometimes when my parents gather my brothers and me into the car, we go to really fun places. Like here, the toy store. Or here, at a scenic overlook. Or sometimes here, rawr, says the tiger at the zoo. But on days like today, we ride along for a few miles in happiness until we sense something's wrong. So I ask, where are we going? And mom and dad always say, mystery ride. Now, a mystery ride may sound cool, but it really means they're taking us someplace we would never ever want to go. Today it was here, the supermarket. And here. I need molly bolts, says dad at the hardware store. And here. Gross. Someone threw this out, says dad at the landfill. Then it got really bad. What do you think of these slacks? Says mom at the clothing store. When we finally got back into the car, mom and dad sensed our lack of enthusiasm. So they tried to trick us again. Mystery fun ride. But it wasn't. They're at the laundromat picking up dry cleaning. Desperate for entertainment, we tried singing. Mystery ride, mystery ride, do you want to go on a mystery ride? No! It passed the time. When at last, after all of the mysteries were revealed, Dad took a familiar turn. Mystery ride! And just like that, we knew this mystery ride was about to get much better. Mom and Dad say that sometimes it's good not to know where you're going, and that getting there is half the adventure. The other half of adventure, Dad says, is getting your errands done. Maybe he's right. And maybe mystery rides aren't so bad after all. Especially when they end with sprinkles on top. There they are at the ice cream stand. The end. I hope you like this book. It's based on true events. My parents used to take us on mystery rides all the time, uh, and it's one of my fondest childhood memories. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Uh, speaking of trips, hey, I gotta show you this photo. Check out this picture. I visited a school in Ohio not too long ago. Hello, Buckeye State. Uh, and the librarian created this mystery car, mystery ride car for her students to get a picture taken of them in it. So of course, I had to get in too. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Would you like to draw a car with me right now? Okay. Let's uh, let's give it a go. Let's motor. Here's what it looks like. All you need is a piece of paper. Maybe turn it sideways. Does not have to be this large. And uh, a marker or a pencil. Either one is fine. I might add a little shading later with a gray marker if you want to do that. Uh, if you want to color it later, you can do that as well. All right. Here we go. We're going to draw the mystery ride car with our mystery ride family inside. You ready for this? Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with, um, it's like a, like a diamond shape, right? We're gonna do right this, right at the top of their page, like this. Okay, nice little diamond shape. Can you do that? Good, okay. Now we're gonna come down off of the sides of that diamond with three lines straight down. This one's gonna be the longest, but we're gonna start with this one first. They can come straight down, they can be at an angle, like that, okay. Keep in mind that middle one should be a little bit longer, okay? And you can extend it later if you need to. All right, now we're gonna connect that and we're gonna make 
a bit of a box here like this. Okay, see what I mean? Just like that. Okay. Dan, how am I doing? Is this in the shot? Yeah, it's looking good. All right, thanks, Dan, my cameraman. Dan, everybody, give him a shout out. Um, okay, next we're going to draw the hood. And to do that, we're going to kind of come out with a nice curved line. Not a small little curved line like, like that. No, we're going to do a nice big curvy line out a little ways, okay? Because it's going to be the hood of our car. All right, so let's just come out like this, okay? Can you do that? It's a little tricky, but just come out, make sure you come out far enough. Okay, don't, don't do a little small little thing. Come out a long ways like that. We're going to do pretty much the same shape over here like this. Okay, come out just like that. Right, and the idea is that you kind of want to have a nice little uh, invisible line happening here. It's hard to picture, but that's what you want to do when you come out this far. Okay, how are we doing so far? Good? Okay, good. Next, we're going to connect these two lines. That's going to be our front of our car, just like this. See that? Okay, good. Next, we're going to kind of go back this way. We're going to do the side of our car, come right back. We're going to stop our line right here, right where this line comes down. That's as far as we go. Don't go any further, at least not yet. We're going to go do this, okay? And stop. Good, good. I thought, I thought you were going to go a little further, but uh, you stopped just in time. Great, okay. And then we're gonna, let's see, what can we do next? Let's draw our tires, right? Those are easy to do. Those are just two circles. The first tire is gonna be right in line with this line that comes down, okay? So let's do a nice, it doesn't have to be too big. It's tire just like that, okay? Good. And the second tire is gonna be in line with, you guessed it, this line right here. Let's do that, people. <laughs> Good, all right, now we got our tire going on. We have to kind of obviously come back a little further with this line. Okay, let's just do that just a little bit. Okay, good. Now let's um, let's come up just a little bit with a straight line, and we're not going to go too far. Just a little bit of a line like this. Okay, that's going to be our trunk. Good. Okay. Now let's um, let's come out just a little bit with this line and do like a little triangle like this. You see that? We added a little triangle right there. Okay. Now we're going to match this, this line with this line. And if it doesn't match perfectly, that's okay. You can kind of cheese it a little bit. I do that all the time. All the time. Okay. Uh, let's make our tires just a little bit fatter. Okay. And we're going to add some hubcaps. And we can do like a nice cool little pattern like this. It's going to kind of disguise our line that goes right through it, okay? And that's going to be our little hubcap, okay? Little spokes in our wheels, so to speak. Okay, cool. How's it looking so far? Looking good out there? Good, good. I hope you're liking this. Okay, now we're going to add some fun stuff. We're going to add the headlights, two big circles right in the front, like this, and like this, kind of at the corners of your hood, okay? We're going to add the grill, which is like a nice little Line, two couple lines in the front. You can add as many lines as you want. They should probably line up with the with the lights just like that. Okay, good. Let's add some more details. We can kind of come down for the hood like this. And if you want, you can add a little license plate and put whatever license plate name or number you want on there. Um, have fun with that. Um, rear view mirrors are just little circles off the side like this. See that? Good. Good. What do you say we add the door now? We can add a little door, straight down line, straight down at the middle, in front of this second wheel. Okay. A little handle like this. Good, good. And we can add a front um, line for the front of the door. Good. All right, what do you say we start to add the um, family in the car? Okay, let's do that. We can add, um, four circles, but make sure not to make them too big because they have to fit in the car together and we still have to draw their shoulders. Let's start with their heads. Let's start with their heads first. And remember, not too big. There's one circle for one head. There's another circle for another head. Um, can we fit three in the back? I had two brothers and me. We always kind of have to fit in the back, right? Okay. Uh, and in our book, this was a family of bears. So let's add some circles for ears like this, right on the top of their heads. They could be small. However you want to fit them is great. 
How's it looking? Good? Okay. Let's, um, gosh, should we add their bodies next? You know what? Let's do the steering wheel first. Let's do the steering wheel. To do that, the driver has to have two hands on the steering wheel for safety, right? So let's draw two little circles right here. Circle, circle. Okay, those will be our paws, our hands for our bear. And we're going to come right up. I'm going to draw like a little half circle, just like this. So it looks like he's driving, driving the car. Okay, or she, it could be mom driving the car too, right? All right, let's add some bare faces, shall we? Um, to do that, circles everywhere. Circles for the eyes, circles for the nose, right? We can be smiling, could be smiling because they're on a mystery ride, okay? These guys, maybe this one is like singing a song and so his eyes are kind of closed and his mouth's open a little bit, oh, like that. This one, <laughs> this brother could be looking over here, smiling at the scenery going by. This one, maybe he's reading a book, so he's looking down like that. Right? And I'm saying he, it could definitely be sisters. I just happen to have two brothers. And since this book is based on something that I experienced, that's why my brothers are in here. Hello, brothers. Good to see you guys. I hope you're watching. <laughs> They're probably not. Um, all right, and then we just add shoulders like this for our little uh, team of bears, if you want. You can add a little fuzzy on the top. Also, very important to add, you guys and gals, our seat belts, seat belts for safety. And for those, we just put diagonal lines like this, okay? That's how we look for seat belts. Looking good, looking good. How's it looking, Dan? Looking good. All right, let's add a sunroof, because what is a mystery ride without looking up at the, at the sun or the stars or the trees or the mountains above us? For that, it's just another smaller um, diamond shape in the roof. Okay, good. Uh, how about, um, I was going to draw an exhaust, but maybe this is an electric car. No exhaust, right? Let's think about the environment. Um, I think that that's almost it. Let's, um, let's add a building over here. And this is something that I think you guys will have fun with. Let's just add a building. We'll do a big square, rec like a rectangle. We're going to put a sign on top. And I would love, love, love to see what you guys write in this sign to tell me what your favorite mystery ride would be. And of course, it does not have to be a building. It can be a, a scene. It can be mountains. It can be the beach. It can be um, the forest, wherever you want to go. I'm just happy to put us a, um, a building here because I would love to go to an ice cream shop right now. How about you, Dan? Yeah. Ice cream. All right, so this family's just gone on, just like in the book, they just went on a mystery ride to an ice cream shop. All right, so let's, I want to show you one more quick thing that's kind of neat. Um, oh, wait, let's do this. Um, um, let's see, my favorite mystery ride. is, and you fill in the blank, and you send that picture to me. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. I'm just going to write ice cream here. Ice cream. Ice cream shop. <laughs> um, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say and you gals have to say about that and what your favorite mystery ride is. Let's add some shading. I don't know if you know about this trick, but you can make something look really 3D by adding a little bit of shading or color to your drawing. I'm gonna draw, I'm just gonna shade this side of it, of the car with this gray color, and it's gonna look a little more 3D because I'm doing that. See that? How it looks like that's kind of in shadow a little bit? What do you think, Dan? Yeah. Is that working? Yeah. Right? And then you can add just a little bit underneath the car as well, right? So it looks a little more three dimensional. You can add some to the ice cream shop as well. Just a little bit of shadow goes a long way. Maybe some bushes out there on the side. Right, you've already added some really nice um, dimension to your drawing just by adding a little, uh, a little color. I hope you like that. Send in your drawings uh, to the address on your screen. I would love to see what you guys have done. This is mine, but uh, I would love to see yours. Now it's time to take a look at some of the viewer drawings that you all have sent in over the past week. Thanks so much. There's some great submissions. Let's take a look.
Wow, look at this tremendous drawing from this young artist. This is from last week's episode where we drew the same thing once right side up and the second time upside down and then drew something from each one of those drawings. Um, great job with this. I love the huge uh, flower arrangements and uh, the woman with the hat on top is really well done as well. Thank you so much for tuning in and sending me your drawing. Great work. This young artist sent also in a piece in from last week's episode. And I love what he did with the arrangement down there at the bottom. Really nice, uh, compact shape there. Uh, and same is true with the woman with the hat. Really nice. I really like her smile and her eyes and her curly Q hair coming out from underneath her hat. Great job. And he also sent in this whale drawing that was from the Breathe episode, episode two. Wow, you really feel that whale coming through uh, the water there. Really nice job. Thank you for sending that in. This super fan, love it, fantastic job, again with the colors. Um, I really like the hat in particular, and uh, the flowers are lovely too. Thank you so much, I love it. Please keep them coming. And we have another one from last week. Here's one with the um, flowers at the bottom. Great job there, really like the basket. And the hat too looks really, really good on the woman as well. And uh, I like what you did with her hair there. I really like that. Nice job. Thank you. And this one comes to us as well, also from last week. Lots of color here, especially in the arrangement drawing at the bottom. We can really see um, this artist has added some uh, a house and some sparkles. And I love this the sun on each one of these. And the woman at the top is lovely too. It looks like you've added some arms. Is that right? It looks like it. Uh, nice job with that as well. Guys, thank you for sending in your drawings. Please keep them coming. If you would like to send in a drawing to me, please do. All the information is there on the screen. Um, if if you like, send them in and we'll, we'll share them on a future episode. Thanks, everybody. And now it's time to answer your questions. Our first question this week comes from Liam. Liam, thank you so much uh, for tuning in and for your question. He asks, have I ever written a book that takes place in another country, like Hugo and Miles? Great question. Hugo and Miles, by the way, everybody, is the book that we read in last week's episode. Check that one out. Uh, Liam, I have not written a book that takes place in another country, but I have illustrated a book that takes place on another planet. It's this one. It's Rover Throws a Party. It's brand new. It just came out. It's by Kristen L. Gray published by Knopf, and it's about this little rover who is about to celebrate his fifth birthday on Mars. Well, we all know there's nobody else on Mars. So how do you celebrate a happy birthday? Check this book to find out. It's full of great fun facts about Mars, the Curiosity rover itself, and tons more. So I hope you'll check that out. Liam, thanks for your question. Our second question of the week comes from the Browns, and they ask, uh, have I been to Paris and what were some of my favorite things there? They went to Paris last year and one of their favorite things was walking the cobblestone streets of Montmartre. Great question, Browns. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for your question. Oh gosh, there are so many incredibly beautiful and wonderful things to do in Paris, as you may imagine. We had a terrible time when we went. I'm kidding. We had a great time when we went. Uh, one of the best things for me was to circle back. This was, uh, I had been to Paris before as a college student and one of my favorite things was to go back with my family and share the things that I had already seen uh, as a college student with my family. So if you check out this photo, this is me as a college student um, reading a book in front of the Shakespeare and Company bookstore, bookshop. Love to visit bookshops. And this is one of the few uh, English language bookshops in Paris. Um, and you can see that I'm reading a book there. I can't remember what book it was. So I love this little bookshop. It's right near Notre Dame Cathedral. Um, here, and here is the photograph much later that I took, uh, that my wife took when we were there visiting. Um, you can see me and my boys out in front. And we just had a nice afternoon hanging out there uh, in front of that uh, bookstore. Really great memory. There are so many wonderful things to do in Paris, but that one stood out to me because it's nice to kind of double back on yourself and kind of go back on visits um, and share things with people that weren't there the first time. Thanks for your question, Browns. Great question. Thanks. If you'd like to send me a question, please do so. Uh, I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to answer any questions you may have. Thanks, everybody. 
Newsflash, this Thursday, April 9th, I'll be hosting Snack and Read Live with Simon and Schuster Kids. Grab a snack, come join me for live studio time on Facebook at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if you're watching this after April 9th, don't worry, you can still watch the show. I've posted the link in the show notes uh, and you can link to it from there. We should have a pretty good time. I'm looking forward to that. Um, please like and subscribe. It lets me know you're out there and that we should keep making these videos. You can find all of my Scott Studio story times and much more about my books on my website at scottmagoon.com. New episodes every Wednesday. All right, everybody, that's all for now. I'll see you next time from Scott Studio Storytime. In the meantime, stay safe, healthy, wash those hands, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.